morning. Hope you are all doing well in the lockdown. And for those of us who are out there on the front lines, I have a message for you. Please, please wear your protective equipment at all times when addressing patients. Should you there be a lack of protective personal protective equipment, I would urge you to stay away, protect yourselves because you have a service to humanity to save as many lives. You cannot sacrifice yourself in the beginning of the battle. For this purpose, I have a I am going to as a surgeon, we innovate in times of need. And my innovation in this is a reusable N95 specification mask that you can easily make with the equipment in your hospital that is autoclavable and reusable. So there is no need to work without personal protective equipment. Again, so the equipment that you would need is a silicon cushion mask, which is autoclavable, washable. You can disinfect it with a variety of substances and autoclave it. So you can use it again and again. You can have four masks, label it day one, day two, day three, day four, and keep autoclaving it. So for the equipment that you would require, are two pieces of string from a nebulizer face mask. A face mask with an inflatable cushion and these metal hooks. These are very important because the springs will go on top of it. And an HME filter. This filter connects the mask to the anesthesia or a oxygen circuit. So we use this mask whenever uh, we are inducing the patient for anesthesia. So you take out the rubber connector and take out the metal hook. Okay. Now you take these strings, as I've done a lot of demonstrations, there are some knots on it, and you tie a knot, a second knot, as such. Okay, now coming to the adjacent one, you have to tie another knot. Now, as you can see on one and two, I've tied a light green string with knots knots to the bottom string okay now as you can see the light green string is at the top one two and the dark green uh, strings are at the bottom three and four they're right next to each other then you pull it the strings underneath the ring and out then you pull the strings inside the ring and out once you've done that you reattach the strings to the face mask it's a bit difficult and you make sure that this the strings are going upwards in this direction easily right once you've done that you reattach, reattach the rubber tubing gently and affirmatively. Okay. And then you attach the HME filter. So the yellow side goes in, the white side goes out. You attach the filter as such. And now you are ready to don the mask. For doning the mask, you have to take the glasses off together upwards with the mask on. This is how you don the mask. The light green string goes to the top, this one goes to the bottom. Make sure there's a tight fit. Now we will put the filter on. The yellow style side will go in and the white side will go out Boom. as soon as the airtight seal is made my voice will go down as you can see it's an airtight filter you check for the seal for the seal when i try to inhale and i can't inhale and again
and we'll take it off and that's how you can use a reusable mask you can use this full change this filter as many times as possible and simple springs from a nebulizer face mask and a resuscitation face mask that you can find in any OT where which is used for induction at the end of this I would like to remind you COVID-19 the cure is in our hands clean hands